So I started playing the guitar when I was um, 11 years old, but my first instruments were the banjo and the ukulele. But uh, meanwhile, my brother was playing the guitar and I used to sneak up into his room and play his guitar and get into trouble for it as I was going through the methods. And at a certain point, then I just started listening to recordings of the great guitarists like Segovia and Julian Bream and John Williams, those great names of my generation, and uh, just transitioned and uh, haven't looked back since. I'm from England. I grew up in the northeast of England. I studied university in London, did a conventional music degree there, mostly studying music not for guitar just trying to get to know, again, the craft of music, the history of music away from my instrument. And then from there, went into active concert playing, studio work, collaborating with composers, playing ensembles with people. And this eventually led to me coming to Le Monde because at a certain time in my 20s, every year or so, I would go to a festival and I would meet somebody called Ricardo Isnaiola. And he has some very unconventional ways of thinking about guitar technique. So I would meet Ricardo um, every year or so at a festival, and we would always go for a walk and have a really long conversation. We never had a guitar lesson, but I noticed that after talking with him, I would play better for six months or so, just somehow by osmosis. And I thought that this is a conversation I would like to finish, um, to see where it would go. So I asked Ricardo if he would be, um, if there was some way I'd co I could come to Denver, for Ricardo was the chair of guitar at the Lamont School of Music at the time. And uh, if we could finish this conversation somehow, I thought maybe I could get a job for a little bit and um, study with him and uh, try and make this amazing effect he would have on me um, permanent. And he said, well, we can offer you a job at the Lamont School of Music. So I started working alongside him. And um, in fact, I took one of Lamont's advanced certificate programs, the, the artist diploma with Ricardo, at the same time as I became a faculty member teaching guitar ensemble, music theory, and a number of other such subjects. And, um, and I've been at Lamont ever since, well over 20 years. In my own teaching, I'm really emphasizing what do you sound like at your best? Let's play this piece that you can play with all of the artistry um, that, you're, that you're able to bring at, that, at this period in your development. You can play things with, with freedom, with facility, with joyful tempi, with full expression, with a beautiful sound. And we just try to keep on going in that direction until your technique is developing to the point that, um, that you're doing far, far more challenging stuff than you ever thought you could do. One thing I try and do in my lessons above all else is to integrate different kinds of knowledge. When we're first learning the guitar, perhaps we tend to rely on one particular learning style, one particular method, especially what you feel through your fingers, through just sitting at the chair practicing. And what's often lacking is that sense of this 10,000 10, foot view where you know the music on many levels, you see the whole picture of the music. And what you want to do with the music isn't just about what your fingers tell you to do, or what, what your fingers will allow you to do. So we work with a lot, lots of different kinds of learning tools, voice, gesture, walking around the room, thinking of the music, reading the score away from the guitar, practicing away from the guitar, we learn how to do that. Using some analysis, whatever's appropriate for the limited amount of time we have in a lesson, so that whenever you're in doubt, about what comes next, what you want to do. There's many levels of knowledge, thought and feeling that you can draw upon. I try to watch the student. What is the student doing with their whole self? How are they sitting? Um, how are they balanced on the chair? What's happening with their feet? But above all, what's even happening with their awareness as a whole? Are they aware of their playing in the room? Of their playing in the hall? Or are they getting crunched and kind of drawn into the movements of their fingers and the technical difficulties, the mechanics of playing. I try to help students come back to a more balanced place, a place that's easy for them right, right there where they are now in lessons, so that they can just simply play with greater ease. 
Lamont is a small school devoted to one-on-one -on -one experience and the guitar studio is no different. So we might have as few as six students in the program or as many as 14, but I think rarely more than that. So if I think about a typical week for a guitar major here, then let's say on Monday, they have their hour long guitar lesson with me. Then on Tuesday afternoon, we all gather in our mid-sized beautiful concert hall and have our performance class. You'll play in that class. Every week you have an opportunity to hear what it's like to be on the stage, hearing your sound in the hall, in the exact same hall that you're going to do a recital in. Then maybe that same day you have a, um, a 50 minute coaching with Laura, husbands, on uh, one of your ensembles. Let's say you're with a singer working on some voice and guitar repertoire. And then maybe on Thursday, you, um, you come in with, your, with one of the other guitarists and work on the duo, again, for a 50 minute coaching on that. You'll also be rehearsing, of course, your ensembles, practicing hard every day for your guitar lessons. And some quarters, at a certain point in your degree, perhaps you'll also be coming to the guitar repertoire class or the guitar pedagogy class or the guitar history class, meeting twice a week with me to study um, how to teach, how to study your repertoire, how to build your knowledge of um, the repertoire for the guitar's ancestors and the, the history of the instrument in general. I think any guitarist, any classical guitarist seeking to make a living, they're going to find that an awful lot of their work comes from collaborations of various sorts. So we devote, we put a lot of emphasis on ensemble playing and other kinds of collaboration. The guitar ensemble program is directed by my colleague Laura Husbands, who's a wonderful musician, guitarist and teacher. And she's also the director of our Denver Guitar Festival and competition that we hold here at Lamont. Every student uh, who comes to Lamont to learn guitar will be in, in two small ensembles per term. And they'll get a coaching every week for each ensemble. Each coaching is 45 minutes, so you actually get 90 minutes of ensemble coaching every week that you're here. And this leads to uh, a concert at the end of every quarter, given in our beautiful mid-sized recital hall. These, these concerts are quite popular with the Lamont uh, concert goers. So this really means that, um, that every, every quarter you're performing a couple of ensembles in, in public and you're getting this very, very close training and attention. Students are typically in duos with singers, flutists, violinists, cellists, and more unusual instruments, finding repertoire, and then working with somebody from outside the studio, learning how to listen to a singer's breathing, how to follow the gestures of a violinist and match their typical dramaticism. very, very important part of guitarist career is learning to collaborate with composers. And that's something we've uh, just started doing here. Um, in uh, one of the classes, I'm matching each student with a composition student and they're commissioning, basically going through the process of commissioning a piece from a peer, someone they can really relate to. And then learning the art of explaining to the composer what works well, what doesn't work so well, then performing their piece in the composer's concert. And this is something where I think it's really, really important for students to learn to be really confident. What I love about the programme at Lamont is that it's the way we have it set up, the way we have it organised, and the way we've combined the skill sets of the faculty is that it really, I'd like to think, combines the best of the classical liberal arts approach with career training. So the liberal arts approach in which you, in which you explore whatever you want to do, you cultivate your passions, you cultivate new passions, you, you, you brainstorm everything that interests you about the art of guitar playing. And then that feeds into creating unique programs, unique interests. Um, a unique career path for you.